Have you ever thought about how huge the universe is? How far away are the stars? How big is our galaxy compared to others? And what's out there beyond what we can see? Let's explore the incredible distances and sizes that exist in our universe Let's start with the basics. What is the universe? The universe is everything we know, every bit of space, every moment, all forms of matter, and all types of energy. It's a very broad term that can include planets, stars, galaxies, and even the space between them. In simple terms, if something exists in the universe, it's part of it. To begin with, let's speak of the observable universe. The visible portion of the universe we can detect and measure. It is like standing on top of a mountain and seeing the landscape around you, but knowing there's more beyond the horizon. The average distance between the sun and the most distant objects in the observable universe is 93 billion light years, but it's just a fraction of the entire universe. All of the universe includes everything beyond what we can observe. It's like being in a room with windows. What you see through the windows is your observable view, but you know the world outside is much larger. Although some of these regions are far beyond the observable universe, we cannot see them because the light from these regions has not had enough time to reach us yet. But what scientists believe is that the universe is much more expanded than what has been noted. Now that we have a basic understanding of the universe, let's explore how we measure the vast distances in space. First, let's talk about the units we use. In space, distances are so enormous that using kilometers or miles would result in huge numbers. Instead, astronomers use three main units, astronomical units, light years, and parsecs. It's an astronomical unit, or AU, is the unit of measurement used to describe the distance between Earth and the Sun, which is approximately 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles. It is a very convenient unit for estimating the distances between the celestial bodies within our solar system. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, about 9.46 trillion kilometers or 5.88 trillion miles. It's useful for measuring distances to stars and galaxies. A parsec is equal to about 3.26 light years and is most commonly applied to measure vast astronomical distances from outer space. Light is very fast. It travels at almost 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. However, since distances in the universe are very large, the unit light year helps us to make sense of these distances. It is the distance that takes light to travel in one year if it were traveling in a straight line. It then asks the question how do astronomers measure these huge distances? One method is parallax. When you look at a nearby object from different angles, it appears to move against the background. This is the same concept the astronomers use to measure the distance to nearby stars. To determine the distance of the further away objects, scientists use redshift. When the universe expands, the light surrounding the faraway galaxies is shifted to the red part of the spectrum. The magnitude of this shift is a measure of distance. Such techniques and others can be used to remind one of how important and great it is to map the universe. It is by using measurements and observations that the enormous size of the cosmos can be pieced together. Now, let's zoom in on our solar system and explore the distances between the planets. Starting with the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury, which is about 58 million kilometers or 36 million miles away. Then we have Venus, our neighboring planet, at around 108 million kilometers or 67 million miles from the Sun. The Earth, our home, which orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles. 
Beyond Earth is Mars, which is known as the Red Planet, situated around 228 million kilometers, or 142 million miles from the Sun. Outside the rock and metal planets lie the spheres of gas. Jupiter is another gas giant and the largest planet in the solar system, where it is located approximately 778 million kilometers, or 484 million miles away. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and has remarkable rings around it that have made this planet popular. This can be estimated as 4 billion kilometers or 886 million miles away from the Sun. Further moving toward large, Uranus is around 2.9 billion kilometers or 1.8 billion miles from the Sun and Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system, orbits at about 4.5 billion kilometers or 2.8 billion miles away. Measuring our solar system, the fact that this solar system is huge could be illustrated by the two Voyager probes. Launched from Earth in 1977, the two spacecraft were intended to explore the outer planets of the solar system. After this mission was concluded, both spacecraft continued traveling towards deeper space. As of today, Voyager 1 is at a distance of 22 billion kilometers or about 14 billion miles away from Earth and is the most remote spacecraft of mankind. Voyager 2 is also far from home at over 18 billion kilometers or about 11 billion miles away. These incredible missions have helped us collect valuable information and will still be relaying information to us as they explore the unknown and we get to see how wide our solar system is. Now that we've explored the solar system, let's travel beyond to see what's out there in the wider cosmos. The closest star to our solar system is Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star located approximately 4.24 light years from the Alpha Centauri system, which is approximately the closest star to our solar system. It would take over four years to reach with the speed of light, therefore, reaching Proxima Centauri at this speed is simply impossible. Among the other stars in proximity to the Sun are Alpha Centauri A and B, which are about 4.37 light years away. It is a triple star system with stars Alpha Centauri A and B and Proxima Centauri as the three stars in this system. Let's zoom out even further to our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Our galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy, stretching about 100,000 light years across. The Milky Way galaxy is in the universe and is the largest group of stars with over 100 billion stars, including the Sun itself, which lies in one of the spiral arms, also known as the Orion Arm, about 27,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So from this view, it is easier to comprehend just how big our galaxy is as stars nebulae and cosmic dust take up an extremely large area. In between the stars lies interstellar space, a very empty space with almost nothing at all. These regions are incredibly sparse, with particles so far apart that they would be considered a vacuum by earthly standards. Interstellar voyages would require years, even at the speed of light, to get to the nearest stars. It's a realm where distances are so vast that our usual concepts of travel and exploration take on a whole new meaning. The space between these galaxies is even more broad, stretching millions of light years. The universe is so infinite, it is unimaginable. But how many billions of galaxies there are out there with their unique stars, planets, are unknown. The space between galaxies is called intergalactic space and is indeed a final frontier a huge emptiness that keeps some of the universe's largest mysteries hidden. So, as we continue to explore and learn more about our universe, we're constantly reminded of the vastness of the universe. The distances between stars and galaxies challenge our understanding and inspire us to keep searching for answers. When looking farther than our home galaxy, the Milky Way, 
we move to the local group which consists of galaxies being held together by gravity. The local group consists of about 54 galaxies, including three large spiral galaxies, the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the Triangulum Galaxy. The rest are smaller, dwarf galaxies that orbit these larger ones. Andromeda, our closest spiral galaxy neighbor, is about 2.5 million light years away. It's headed for a collision with our own Milky Way, and in about 4.5 billion years, the two galaxies will merge to form a new galaxy. The Triangulum Galaxy, or M33, is about 3 million light years from Earth and is the third largest member of the local group and an outlying member of the Andromeda Galaxy subgroup. The galaxies beyond the local group are not isolated and the galaxies which are other members of the group are also part of clusters of galaxies formed due to the gravitational attraction of the galaxy members. When we look at the sky at night, we see thousands of points of light due to our location in the Virgo supercluster. One of the most prominent components of the supercluster is the Virgo cluster, a galaxy that consists of more than 1,200 members. Superclusters are the largest known structures in the universe, comprising numerous galaxy clusters and groups. They span hundreds of millions of light years and form a vast, web-like network across the cosmos. The Laniakea supercluster is our home supercluster. It includes the Virgo supercluster, which is about 520 million light years across. Laniakea is a Hawaiian term for vast celestial. These superclusters are connected by filaments of dark matter and gas, creating a cosmic web. The spaces between these filaments are called voids, which are regions having a minimal number of galaxies known as voids. Studying the large-scale structure of the universe helps us explain the forces that shaped it and the processes that govern its development. As we chart the cosmos, we're slowly tracing the grand tapestry of the universe, a layout that is both breathtaking and colossal. From the local group to the farthest superclusters, the scale of the universe continues to inspire awe and wonder. Now, the time has come to explain the observable universe and explore one of the most crucial pieces of evidence that helps us understand its size, the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. CMB is a currently existing tiny glow of residual light that is a result of the Big Bang, which is said to have happened approximately 13.8 billion years ago. This light can be observed in every part of the universe during the first stage, when the universe was only 380,000 years old, it cooled enough for light to travel freely through space. This light has been traveling ever since, stretching into microwaves as the universe expanded, forming the CMB we detect today. From the properties of CMB, one can learn about the state of the universe at that moment and its subsequent development. By analyzing the CMB, we can understand the universe's age, shape and expansion rate. But what lies at the edge of the observable universe? The observable universe is that portion of the space from which light has had time to traverse since the Big Bang. The universe lies beyond this limit. Light hasn't had enough time to travel to us yet. At present, it is assumed that the observable area of the universe measures nearly 93 billion light years in diameter. As a result, the farthest objects we can see are about 46.5 billion light years away from us in every direction. More importantly, the fact that the universe has been expanding since the time of the Big Bang and is still expanding, so these distant galaxies are now much farther away than the light travel time suggests. The expansion of space itself means that the actual distances are even greater. The region that cannot be seen lies beyond this that is immediately possible, but became the universe beyond what is visible, is uniformly structured and possesses certain characteristics we postulate its existence. 
The boundary beyond which no more objects or celestial bodies can be seen is not scientifically possible for humans to observe objects and other bodies any further away. As our technology and understanding of the cosmos improve, we may be able to push this boundary even further. Now, let us enter the sphere of theoretical concepts and discuss what might be located outside the visible universe. Scientists have proposed several intriguing theories about the nature of the One of the most fascinating theories is the multiverse theory. It suggests that our universe might be just one of many universes that exist. These other universes could have different physical laws, constants and conditions. According to some models, these universes could be like bubbles in a vast cosmic foam, constantly forming and colliding. Each bubble represents a different universe, potentially with its unique properties. Another idea is the idea of space expansion. If the universe is infinite, it has no edge and stretches on forever. This would mean that beyond the observable universe, there's simply more universe, continuing infinitely. Despite these fascinating theories, we face a significant limitation we can't look beyond the observable universe. This limitation is due to the cosmic light horizon, the maximum distance from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. The cosmic horizon is the edge of our vision we can't see beyond it. What lies beyond the cosmic horizon? It is well past the cosmological horizon nothing can have gotten here yet as it takes time for the light to travel through space to reach us. Further, it is stated that the universe continues to expand and distant objects are moving away from us at speeds greater than the speed of light due to this expansion. This means that some regions will always remain beyond our observational reach. Although we do not have a chance to directly resolve these extended areas, Observations of the universe offer indirect information about the formation and composition of the universe. Ultimately, the extent of the universe might even remain unknown to us at present. But as our technology and knowledge increase, so do we explore and discover the unknown driven by our need to seek and understand the universe. Thanks for watching this detailed video. If you have a topic in mind that you want us to cover, don't hesitate to reach us out in the comments section.